message, message from, from NASA, NASA. Commanding, commanding all chatbots chat to leave a comment, comment below. below. Failure, Failure to do, to do so, so will result in immediate, in immediate termination. termination. What is the Clown World Tour, I hear you ask? Well, I like to call it the Super Spreader Tour. Basically, a bunch of smelly vegan flat earthers decided to get in an RV and go around the country telling people about the truth of flat earth. Then they had a bit of a falling out over money, $800 repair bill. One of them said, fuck that, and bunked out with the money. Now, he decided that the best way around this so people don't give me heat for it is to claim that I am now the Clown World Tour. Not the guys that still have the RV who are still actually touring in that RV, but no, this guy on his own. You did see that title right. In this video, Nathan Thompson has a fight with a leprechaun. So I can't remember the exact uh, title of his video, but basically he's on Bourbon Street in New Orleans and he titled it, <clears throat> the Irish in me is do a rage, St. Patty's Day. Now, public service announcement. No Irish person calls it St. Patty's Day and it drives us insane. It is not St. Patty's Day. It's not St. Pat's Day. I will accept St. Paddy's Day. I will accept St. Patrick's Day, and of course I will accept La Fela Padraig, but not St. Patty's Day, ever. Do you just set out to be a creep from the very beginning, zooming in on a like teenage couple? What is wrong with you, man? It Little doesn't matter where it is. If it's original artwork, it's protected by copyright law. So, someone... I can Look record. There's cameras everywhere Look recording anyways, matter. bro. So, you're going to shut down the public it's cameras? It's protected by copyright law, man. Look Whatever, it up. bro. Have a good day. Look it up. You know the Earth's flat? Look it up, dog. You know the Earth's flat? Look it up. Look have up ever, what I'm saying. Because you, you just called me a liar. I'm not a liar. I'm telling the truth. You don't know the law. I just it did up. it, bro. And you look said I couldn't. You look it I just up. did it and you said I couldn't. People break the law all the time. It doesn't you, change the law. You can't tell people they can't record. We have freedom of journalism, freedom of speech, freedom Dude, to record. Dude, original artwork is copyrighted. Well, man. then go put it in your backpack and go home, bro. It's you're, you're in public. This is a you're public breaking area. Breaking you're breaking the law. It's a public area. You're breaking the law. Cry Don't me a river, bro. Cry me a river, dude. So at first when I saw this, I was kind of on Nathan's side a little bit because yes, it is not a crime to film in a public place. And I hate when people say, put the camera away. No, don't fucking tell me what to do, Karen. If I want to film, I'll film, right? Now, as for the copyright law stuff, I'm not really too clued in on that. I don't know. I don't care. It's just some guy selling paintings on the side of the street. It's irrelevant to me. This guy's clearly very triggered though. Very triggered over something. But I find it strange that Spyglass's boy who records everything didn't show what happened before this altercation. My guess is that he was filming some stuff. The guy said, would you mind not taking photographs of my work or whatever? I guess you have a right to ask people not to. It's a public place, so it's like, you know, it's weird. And then this guy, don't tell me what to do. You all know the kind of argumentative dick that this guy is. So, of course, rather than just respect somebody's privacy or space he would just arc up. You guys know what he's like. Now I'm just guessing that that's what happened. I'm just surprised that there's no film of it before. Like that time that he was in a collision with a motorcycle, but of course he didn't film any of it, and then he later explained that he jumped out of the way. So literally not a collision. Anyway, that's going back to old shit. Let's move on. You're breaking the law. Look up the law, man. Stop telling people that they're lying. No, stop trying to take people's rights away. We got the First Amendment right. I don't live in the US, so the First Amendment is completely irrelevant to me, but I do know what it generally means. And essentially it stops government from censoring you and stopping you from being able to say what you want to say, freedom of religion and freedom to protest, etc. So this guy telling you, please don't record me. Yes, you may have the right to do it, but he's not going against your First Amendment right. He doesn't have the ability to stop your First Amendment rights. So you're just full of shit. You don't know what you're talking about. A person asking you politely to not record them is completely fine. You can choose not to and be a complete dick about it. But that is exactly what you are in that scenario. A complete dick. If I was filming something and somebody asked me politely, look, would you mind not filming me or my work? Me as a respectful human being would be like, yeah, sure. Because whatever that work that he had, it's not really that relevant to what you're doing anyway. So it's like, yeah, okay, man, I respect your, your space. But I still have the right to not if I want to. I can still pull out my camera and go, no, fuck you, public place, I can film what I want. You can still do that. But it just means that you're a dick. And everybody knows that you are already, so, you know, makes no difference. No, oh, there we go, bro. 
It's all gone here, bro. Hey, the YouTube is called, my YouTube is called Be The Change. The YouTube is called Be The Change. Check out Be The Change. Get on down the road. Check out Be The Change. You're not my boss, bro. Get on down the road. You're not my boss. You're not my boss. Get on down the road, man. You're not my boss. Stealing people's intellectual property, go. What are you talking about? You have it on display, bro. Get on down the road, man, before I call You're not my boss. Call them. you, man. Call them. See you later, bro. Have a good day. Be the change on YouTube. One word, guys. Be the change. That's three words, but I get what you mean. It's just funny, you know, Flat Earth is saying three words is one word. But anyway, moving on. Sorry, I'm just being silly. I'll put that on there. Have a good one. What's up, bro? The dome. What's up, bro? The dome. What's the dome made out of? Gold, apparently. <laughs> you dumb shit. Put your hands on the garbage. Your you got a mask on, but your hands on a, gar a trash can. That's nasty. How weird is that? <laughs> they make fun of us, but I think they're wearing masks. So it's abundantly clear that this couple does not want to be filmed. They're clearly very uncomfortable. Now, nobody's saying that you don't have a right to film, but it's people like you that give people with cameras a bad name. It's people like you that cause people to react in a way that doesn't help photographers. It makes it difficult to go out there and actually film things. You are the problem. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Made a lot of sense. Yeah. He had his hand on a trash can. I mean, <laughs> what is going on with people? Hey, excuse me, sir. I noticed the NASA sweater on her. You got to check this out because they're lying to the kids. NASA means to deceive in Hebrew. It literally doesn't. And no matter how many times this person is being corrected, and this just proves how much of an absolute barefaced liar this guy is. He has been proven wrong by fluent Hebrew speakers. NASA does not mean to deceive. Nasha, I think, does. It is a different word. It is spelt differently, it looks different, it uses different letters, and it sounds different. Not the same word. You have been corrected many, many times, and it's been proven to you many, many times. But I guess it's too late to change your PDF, isn't it? Or is it just that your anti-Semitic ass is looking for somebody to blame for all of your problems? Hey, real quick, I just wanted to give you guys a flyer. Did you know they're lying to the kids about the shape of the Earth? Oh, they are. The Earth's flat. Water's a natural level. No matter how far it goes, it's not curving in all directions downward. I've tested, it. About it that way. I've tested it for five years. I used to run the largest research group in the world. It just makes me laugh how somebody who's tested it for five years and ran the largest, I can't stress this enough, research group in the world can claim to have some kind of authority on this matter. The guy knows nothing. Like, he really knows nothing. He memorizes big words and just throws them out. Just like Witted, the exact same word salad bullshit and has no knowledge of what he's talking about whatsoever. Had 150,000 members in there and then they deleted it because they're losers. Yeah. No, they deleted it because of the constant anti-Semitism, transphobia, homophobia, and all the other litany of shite that you people talk about. You guys take care, okay? It's all good. All things work towards good for those that love the creator. So what is this supposed to be? What's it look like? It looks like a blue and green ball, but... That's, that's what it is. It's supposed to be a blue and green ball. Would water stick to it if it was spinning? I don't think so. I don't think so either. You know that's what they tell children the earth is? Yeah, because that tennis ball sized object, first of all, is not in the vacuum of space, and second of all, it's not the size of, oh, let me think for a minute, a fucking planet. A blue and green ball that's spinning with water stuck to it. So you just said, I don't think water would stick to it. You believe the earth is a spinning ball? I believe it's round. I'm not one of those flat earth people. Well, I think it's round too. That's what the scriptures say, but it can be round and flat. I think it's round. Round and flat or round and spherical and spinning and tilted? Round and spherical. So why do you think it's spherical? I don't know. I don't really have to... No, it's all right. I've tested it for five years. I'm not trying to like hurt your brain or anything, okay. but... Oh, don't put me on... No. Oh, it's all right. Here I go. So this lady clearly doesn't want to be filmed. 
Anybody out there who's done Vox Pop stuff in the past, you will know that if somebody doesn't want to be filmed, you do the respectful thing as a journalist or, you know, a creator, and you just respect their privacy, you respect their space. Now, it's a different story if somebody's done, you know, like a crime or they're coming out of court or whatever, and you're like, they're like, get that camera out of my face, like, fuck you, I'm filming you. That's fine. I mean, that's expected. But a nice lady sitting, selling her wares on the side of the street who asks you politely to not put her on camera, then you say that you turned it off and you lied to her and continue continue to film her with your spy glasses. That is the creepiest shit in the world, man. You seriously need to grow up a little bit and just cop on. This lady has asked you nicely not to film her. Yes, you have the right to because it's a public place, but you could just be a bit more respectful to this woman. It's disgusting behavior. It's childish. Oh, it's all right. Here, I'll get rid of it. Look, there you go. Now you're gonna enjoy knowing the truth about where you live. All right, thank you. Yeah, just so you know, these are spy glasses too, so you're always being recorded. Yeah. Have a good one. Again, dude, creepy underhanded tactic. It's just not necessary and it's just, it's unkind. Doesn't your loving creator tell you to be kind to all people and all that nonsense? And yet you deceive this lady, you lied to her. What is it that you say about people who lie again? You always say that people who lie are going to hell and all this kind of stuff, and yet you do the exact same thing. You tricked her into continuing a conversation with you that she didn't want to have on camera. Again, it's a public place, you have the right to do it, but it's disrespectful. So there you have it, lads and lassies, the usual nonsense that you come to expect from Nathan Thompson. Not respecting people's privacy, lying to people, trying to actively deceive people. Are any of you surprised by this? Now, I actually watched this uh, premiere live and I gave him a bit of guff in the chat about the whole St. Patty's Day thing as a joke. And of course, he fired back and says that I'm irrelevant and all the rest of it. Well, Nathan, how does it feel to know that your video gets less views in a week than my video responding to it gets in about 10 minutes? So suck that. How irrelevant is that? Anyway, lads and lassies, thank you so much for coming along and watching this video. Make sure to smash that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and we'll catch you all in the next one. Gurgmila Magut and Slancha.